So do uh, do congruent figures have some things in common? Yes. I would imagine they have uh, just about everything in common. The the side lengths, the area, the uh, color. They add a mass. They do the same. I guess the color. You don't have to do the same color to be congruent. Horse, right? Like, are these still congruent? Yeah. No. They're still congruent. Congruent just has to do with their measurements. So if I measure Dimension. anything about it, uh, these dimensions, maybe this diagonal across here, of course they would have the same size diagonal line. The areas would be the same, so on and so on. Everything about it is the same as far as what you can measure. With like a no. Yes. Do similar figures have things in common? Yeah. Probably. What is it that they have in common? Because they don't have the same measurements. Something the same. Exactly. Like they're the same shape. Okay, they are the same kind of shape. One's a rectangle, the other's a rectangle. One's a pentagon, the other's a pentagon. <laughs> same, same sides, uh, the same sides, the same number of sides, the same uh, angles. One might be. Yeah. Is it the same angles? Mm, yeah. yeah. No. No. Let's no. Talk about that. Uh -huh. Not the same angles. Okay. So let, let's just draw a figure. Let's see what we think. Actually, yes, they're both 90 degrees. That one's just not. Right? So, uh, don't ask me. What do I know? How is that straight? All right. Yeah. So. That's past true. Uh, Dalton. 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 OK, so we've got uh, a four-sided figure. If I if I make a copy of it, what's a four-sided figure called, by the way? Square. Quad for four, <laughs> lateral for shape size. <laughs> so a four-sided figure. So how about now? I just made a copy of it. Did it have the same angles? Yes. Okay, what if I shrink this guy down? Oh. Are the angles the same? No. no. Yes. Yeah. No. Since yeah. the angles are smaller. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Smaller, are they bigger? No. Yeah, they're the same. They're the same. Well, let's take a look. Let me, uh. I mean, the area and. No, the perimeter. The yeah, area the and area perimeter would be are smaller. But okay. But the so the sides are definitely the measuring are the smaller. So the angles are the same because they're both, like, still. Like, right inside. Okay. Like, they didn't shrink like the angle. Yeah, they didn't shrink. So it's kind of a trick of the eye. You might think, oh, though, well, it got smaller, so why would its angles get smaller? It's so tiny. But let's let's just take this guy and put it, put the angles on top of these angles and see what we see. So we'll put this top angle on this top angle. What do you think? Same. 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 This one? Same. 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 So what can we say about similar figures? What do they what do they have like exactly in common? Angles. Angles. All their angles, angles and shapes. Shape, how we describe them, like how many sides they have, all that kind of stuff is exactly the same, like four sides, four sides. Uh, the angles, you know, if this is 30 degrees, that's that little guy right there, that's the same kind of the correlated angle, is the same. It's exactly the same number of degrees. Okay? So similar figures, they have the same angles, but their sides, right, the side lengths, the areas and all that kind of stuff are going to be different. Let's go back to this guy right here. Uh, if I told you that this side length was now, let's make the, let's make the numbers a little easier for our first example. Actually, I think this is the same as yesterday, five and six. Let's say this side length now is three, even though it might not look like it. It's not one half. Half the scale. So this scale is, is scaled down by a factor of a half. Yeah. All right. And if you go the other way, this is twice as big. Yeah, so take two this. Two point five. So this side length is how big? Two point five. Two point five. So they have Do you believe that? Yes. No. Mm, yeah. It well, I don't know, like multiply two. It looks like a little bit. And that should equal that half. side. You would think so. I mean, I mean, does it make sense that if, if this side length is half as big, then this side length would be half as big? Yeah. yeah. Or you just divide that number. Or you could be like, well. Go ahead. Six is like, what five is less, one less than six, and if you have three, two is less, one less than three, so like. 
Maybe that's it. Maybe three and two. Is that it? No. Okay. No. okay. <laughs> it's an idea, at least, of, of something that somebody might think. And it's certainly reasonable for someone to, to guess that. But how can we be sure that, uh, that that's not it? If, the, if this is one inch less than that and we scale it down, that if this is three, this is a two. What's that? Uh, okay, well maybe it's a silly idea. Maybe. If this is five and this is six and the rule is like, okay, if I scale down that figure, if I make it smaller, then this side is always one inch less than that one. Yeah. But if this side was uh, one inch, it shrunk it down even more, and now it's one inch. Let's duplicate it. Okay, try and duplicate it. Shrink it down again, make it, so this side is one inch. If this side is one less than this side, then how long would this side be? Um, divided by what's two point five divided by three? Now listen to me. If, as Sarah said, someone was mistaken in thinking, oh, this is, this side is one less than that, okay, and we shrink it down, this side's one. If this side's one less, one less than that, how long would this side be? One less than one. Zero. 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 Could, could that be it? Wait, that would no. just be a straight line. It would be a straight line. It would have an area of zero, like nothing would be working out. So we seem to all believe that. Well, let's let's see how you guys are thinking of it. How, somebody walk me through how they figured out that side is 2.5. So you said originally we're going to check from a half a scale. I don't know what you said. I didn't say uh, that's, that's what I'm assuming because half of six is three. So all yeah. I did was draw this guy and say this side is three yeah. immediately. So then I immediately thought that it was just your cut. They done the half side. So this is half. So, yeah. so then well, if you divide five by two, then it would be 2.5. Okay. And the way you could check that is multiply 2.5 by two, and that should be five. Okay, so and this is a ratio of two to one. Yeah. Oh, this is twice as big as that. Every one inch here is worth two inches here, right? Uh, what's the what's the ratio for this figure down here? It's three to one. Or is it three to one? No, it's not even three to one. But from between this one and that one. Between the original figure and this little guy right here. So this top guy is six, shrinking it down so that this long side is a one. I know. times bigger is this, or all of the dimensions of this compared Two to, three. to this one. Two to three? Because it's three times smaller. Is it three times smaller than this? Is it three to three? Wait. How many times bigger is the, the, the original rectangle compared to the, the tiny rectangle over there? Two times bigger? No. So this side is, is length one, this long side is length one. The related side, the correlated side, this guy right here, this long one, is six. How many times bigger is that than this? Five, five. five times bigger? No, it's two times bigger. So if I multiply this by three? No, it's six times bigger. Six times bigger, right? Maybe six times as big. Sometimes that trips people up. Six times as big and six times bigger. Technically six different. Times. So six times as big. This one is six times as big. So what would the, the ratio of six this to figure one. to this figure be? Six to one. Six to one. Six to one. So every one of these is worth six of these. Six of these. Yeah. So then every time you look down, it's just six. Okay, I got it. Right. So what do you do? Divide by two every time. Oh. Half. I seem like just being Carter now. So let, let's get a let's look at this other figure here. Okay, 
So what would we say about these two figures, since I just took this one duplicated and just shrunk it down? They are what to each other? Similar. They're similar. Okay. similar. Let's see if you guys are on the same page as I am. Uh, let's say that this side's eight, and this side's four. So it's half the scale. So if I take this 4 and divide it by 8, then I get, oh, well, it's 4 divided by 8, though. 2. 4 divided by 8. 4 divided by 8 is 2. No, 4. Not 8 divided by 8. 2. No, it's 2. No, it's 2. I know, I know, I know. I got 5. No, we don't need any calculators. Four divided by eight. Just simplify this fraction. Fraction, please. Oh, it's a half. Two Get over that fear of fractions. Four divided by eight is one half. Four to eight is the same as one two. Okay, so this is the half half the size of this guy here. So if this is Six. How big is this? Three. Three. Okay. And if this is, uh, what let's call it seven. How big is this? Three point five. Three point five. And if this is twelve, then this side would be six. six. Okay. So similar figures are. So then that side would be as big. What's that? So then that side would be as big. If we if we scaled it up and, and made it twice as big, yeah, it would be the same yeah, as that. I'm just one. looking that one. Okay. Um, so with similar figures, when, they're, when it's a scaled down version of, of the larger shape, or the larger shape is a scaled up version of the smaller shape, then the correlated sides should all be multiplied by the same number, right? Or divided if we're going down to the smaller one. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what's the, what's the ratio of this shape, or the, the dimensions of this one to this one? Two to one. Two to one. Right? So every two of these is one of these. Let's look at uh, So here's what I want you to think about. Um, you see the sun is shining, right? It's, I don't know what time it is, but it's shining this, this ray of light down across the top of this uh, tree. And this guy is standing in, in such a way that the top of his head is just like, if he moved any further to the right, he'd have sun on his head, right? Yeah. But he's just barely like right inside the shadow of the tree. And so that, that beam of light coming from the sun goes right across the top of the tree and right across the top of this guy's head. Right. Um, do you see any similar figures here? Uh, the person, the tree. The tree. I don't know, maybe the shadow of the tree and the tree. What do you mean similar figures? So we, we looked at similar figures like uh, these two quadrilaterals, these the bigger uh, yeah, right direction, these rectangles. Same dimensions. Well, similar dimensions. Right? Yeah. Scale. Do you see any like simple shapes like circles, squares, the tree rectangles? Triangle. You see a triangle? You see similar triangles? I do see, well, no, there's only one triangle. There's only one triangle, okay, so. Tiana, where is this triangle you see? This triangle see is from the top of the tree to the base of the tree, all the way out until where the base and the, um, I see two triangles. can't remember the word, the other line match up. I see two triangles. This, this line? Yeah. Okay, so you see that triangle. Let's uh, let's highlight that triangle. I see the With two. some, ooh, it needs Three triangles. Three Okay, so Tiana sees this triangle right there. Yeah, I see. I see a ton of triangles. 
Triangles. Yeah. Lane, what's the triangle that you see? Um, the suns, like the little flyers. We're not counting the sun. We're not trying to measure the oh, sun. Oh, okay. Well, the shadow of the tree, that's a triangle. We already got that. Shadow of the tree is a triangle? Or where the person standing, like, cuts off the tip. Where the person standing? Right there. In, like, right in here? Yeah. <laughs> says he sees a triangle here. Everybody see a triangle there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and Tiana saw this big triangle here. Okay. I see a tree. Uh, I see a triangle of the tree. Okay, the tree, kind of. Like the branches. Kind of. makes a triangle. Is that exactly a triangle? No. Um, it's like a, a, almost an infinite amount of sides. Right. Robert? I see like a quadrilateral shape like because the triangle that Donna sees and the one that Wayne sees, right where that person's standing. Oh, like oh right in here. Yeah. That's another shape. Yeah, that's a quadrilateral. Okay. Anybody? What about the trunk of the tree in the shadow? So just like right in there? Well, we could draw another, another triangle there if we wanted to. But these two triangles that we have highlighted, could you say something about these two triangles? Are they similar? What is, convince me that they're similar? What, with the orange one and the yellow one? The red one. The, yeah, well, it's kind of red, but it is like orange, and this, this bigger. Yeah, so if you take off the orange part, then just like the, like if you just cut it off where the person is, the orange part, and it's, yeah, so, what's that? How can you be so sure they have the same angle? It's kind of a silly question, but. Well, just pull that highlighter off. Yeah. You know, you can well, I mean, like you have to make it like more even, like as the shape is. Okay. Down there, and then like fit it into like the angle. Oh, how about uh, I can do this? I can just kind of take a little picture of it. Well, it has to be behind the back. Yeah, it has to be behind the person. Like this? No. Like a little, little bit more. A little bit more. Like right there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, good. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we can do that. Me too. <laughs> Why is that? That okay. way too long for this. There we go. That works. Huh. Oh. So now you can see that the yellow oh, is Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so here it is. And that fits like right inside. And if you were to like blow it up really, really big, it would be around this, this, yeah, the same shape. Not that. Like the angle over there. This angle here? Yeah. Ah, this is the bottom one that fits in there. It doesn't fit the right angle. Why? In no way is that necessary for you to do. Okay, no. If we. If we take this triangle, we can see that clearly, like this angle right here, of course it's going to line up with this angle here, isn't it? Because it is that angle. I just made a copy of it and, and took it and, and made it that way. Then if we slide it along, we slide it along here. Is it just an illusion, or are those two angles exactly the same? Those are exactly, exactly the same. same. Okay. They're exactly the same. How about these two angles? They're exactly the same. So are you telling me that because they have the same angles, that means that they're similar? What do you think, Aiden? 
Similar, but this one's bigger than the other. So, similar. Similar, not the same. Well, it can grow. Exactly the same. So they're similar. So what does that mean about this small triangle? That if you make it bigger, it would like replicate that. Okay, so maybe I could make this one like two times bigger, three times bigger, four times yeah. bigger. It would line up exactly. It would be congruent with that bigger triangle. Mm -hmm. So could, if I knew things about this smaller triangle, could it tell me things about this larger triangle? Yes. yes. Okay. What, what might I need to know about this triangle if I wanted to figure out how tall this tree was? So what would I need to know about this situation here that, I mean, realistically, in the real world, I could actually measure more realistically than measuring how tall this tree is by hand. Robert, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, are you drawing a picture of this tree and yeah. scanning all that kind of stuff? Okay, so, so Robert, we're saying that this triangle here, Robert, yeah. is similar, is similar to this very large triangle here. Okay, or I, I might as well point over here at this triangle, right? This little guy right here. And remember back to the similar figures we had before. If I told you that this, these two are similar, that was eight and that was, well, if that's eight and that's four, right? Then if I know that's six, well, four is half of eight, so this side must be three because that's half of six. Yeah. What then, Robert, would you like me to tell you about this small triangle that would help you figure out stuff about, well, ultimately what we want to do is measure how tall this tree is. So what do you need to know about that triangle, knowing that we have these these related sides of the triangle? Ooh, so like the length of the sides, which sides? Okay, which sides? The top, bottom, and the So you, you want to know this side of the triangle? Which, how does it relate to this guy? So what I'm asking is like the, this guy here. Yeah, we found out how tall he was. Okay, so this then. guy is part of the triangle, right? Ooh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. He yeah. is the. So what do you want to know about this guy? Okay, so how tall he is? How tall he is? That guy is like let's say he's like six foot. Six, six foot. Yeah. So he's six one, six foot, and he has to be tall if he's Okay, so I'll make it five. And then just be, I'm very contrary. He's five feet. Five feet. Pardon the interruption. Please release the cheerleaders to board the bus at this time. I'm a boss too. That's always a funny joke. <laughs> okay, so five feet. Uh, is that enough? So I know that that guy is five feet. And if it's two to one, three. Is it? I don't know. We don't know. We don't, we don't know. That's a good point. How will we find out? It certainly doesn't make sense for me to tell you how tall the tree is so that we can know what the ratio is, because then we know how tall the tree is. Tree. So somehow we've got to measure things about this real world situation so we can figure out how much bigger the big one is than the smaller one. Kaden? As the guy up, if that guy's five feet, I don't have to see how many times he fits in that tree. So what you'll do is you'll go outside, you'll clone yourself, stand on your own head multiple times to measure a tree. <laughs> And be like, okay, yeah. boom, so, 12 feet tall tree. Four then you tall. just double the size, you're 10 feet tall, and then you measure it up to wherever it was. So if he's 10 feet tall and it kind of looks like that, then you have to like measure it up to where he stops. And that'd be a 10 foot mark. And then, and measure, then, uh, measure what? Measure what to where? I, I mean, we can't. We so can, you can come up here and point at stuff. Okay, want. so if it's. Five feet tall here, then you double it. Packets are still printing out. Well, see, to do that in real life, what I'm saying is if I went outside, I stood in the parking lot, I want to know how big that tree is out there. Do you see it? Yeah. Some of you guys don't. But there's a tree over there, believe it or not. We have a few. There's a large tree at the, at the end of the parking lot, straight out here. Am I going to double myself? Yeah. Stack myself up and then measure myself. No. Yes, you are. 
Not helpful. It is dislocated. It's not. Yeah, it is. Stand there right next to Trini for a tiny picture. Put on a computer and stack them up. Yeah. Told you it wasn't helpful. I want you to use similar figures, not copy and paste. Right? I could just shove shapes at you. I'm trying to make it more interesting than that. But you just have to, like, at some point, come along with me and learn about similar figures. What else would I need to know about this triangle in order to figure out how much bigger this triangle is than this one? I can't, I can't stack myself up. Okay? And even if I copied and pasted myself, there's not exactly a guarantee that an, an integer number of me's is going to stack up against this. Maybe it's 3 m to a little bit more. How much more of me is it? If it's just my legs, is that half? Is that 0.54? So you can measure your own legs. This is way harder than what I'm suggesting. And that's not, that's not really scale. Exactly, yeah? OK, so this is something that I watched on CyberChase. It's about the same thing. They're trying to figure out how tall the mountain piggy was. So what they did is they took sticks that were about the same size as the girl. I can't remember her name. And then they measured her shadow. And then, depending on where the sun was, they, um, the angle of the sun, they did some math stuff, and they, they found out how tall it was. But I can't remember what the math stuff was. That, I that was like math seven. stuff that you're talking about, and it's not totally unrelated to what we're doing, is that uh, you'd have to know some trade for that. Are you I guess that? Sines and cosines and so on. But we don't need any of that. We don't need to know how big these angles are. The important thing is that we know that these angles are of this triangle and this triangle, the angles are what? Similar. Similar. No, the angles are the same. Yeah, angles are exactly the same angles, which means the shapes are similar. Which means this big triangle is sometimes bigger than this small triangle. But I still don't know how much bigger it is. If I say that guy's five feet tall, that's great. We're getting closer. But I probably need, I need to know some relationship between this smaller triangle and this bigger triangle. But I'm not going to tell you how big the tree is, because that's the whole point. Okay? This is, count how many, what? None. So do you think maybe I should know some more about this triangle? Yeah. Yes. What should we, what else should we know? Uh, we could probably get the length of it, like how long it is. How long this is? Uh, how long the top is. Well, the top. What do you think makes more sense to measure this, which is a like a beam of light, or no, this, which is what? The bottom. What is this? It's That's a leg. Down. If you measure the bottom. What's the sun is shining? This guy standing here along the ground is what? A shadow. Whose shadow? The tree's shadow. And his shadow. And the man's shadow. If he's standing right underneath the the beam of light, right oh. inside the shadow of the tree, like his shadow and the tree's shadow should match up, right? Yeah. So then if you Okay, so figure out how long his shadow is. Let's say his shadow is seven and a half. Well, <laughs> let's make just just for convenience sake, let's make this uh, ten feet. Ten? All right, so you can even make it ten feet long. It's a huge shadow. No, it's just too easy. I can't I can't divide. Thirty six. Let's make it eight. Let's make it eight. That's pretty. Eight feet long. Yeah. Does that tell me how much bigger this big triangle is than the smaller triangle? Yes. No. Well, it's a five by eight. Okay, it's a five by eight triangle. You don't know how big the small triangle is. You could find out the area. You know how big the small triangle is? It's five by eight. We know it's five tall and eight long. Just the big one. Okay, so what? What could I measure? What could I realistically measure about the big triangle? Which is what? The shadow of the tree, to measure the shadow of the tree. Okay, so let's say that the shadow of the tree is... 48 feet. 48. 48. Sure. It's a fair enough size. The tree's 24. Why is the tree 24? Oh, never mind. The tree's 24. It's 5, 10 feet. Okay, so this is, this is exactly what they were doing. So they um so what's 
because his shadow is eight feet long, you could, you know, measure how long the, the tree shadow is. Okay, so it's 40 feet, 48 feet. So then, because eight feet is, I guess, the same would be guy's shadow, then that makes it so that eight is five, and then you would have to do, you know, some, um, can, can I just... You can say something, yeah. go ahead. Okay, so eight goes into 48 six times, right? So if it's six times larger, then you multiply six by five, it's two feet tall. So, Carter has just... Well, he's done something we've done a couple times before, but in a real life situation, he's saying that, look, this is, uh, they're, all, they're called legs, right? This is the yeah, hypotenuse, legs. that's a leg, that's a leg. I was thinking of what it was, and I couldn't think of it. Okay, here's what we call the, what appears to be the short leg, and this guy is the long leg. And Carter is saying, and see if you agree with Carter, that if I take the long leg of the big triangle and divide it by the long leg of the short triangle, and I get six. And then it'd be six to one. It'd be six to one. So I should be able to, well, really in essence, I should be able to do the same thing with the large or sorry, the, the short leg of the big to the short leg of the small triangle. I should be able to take the, say the tree's height, divide it by the guy's height. What should that come out to be? It should come out to be six. It's a pretty simple equation, right? Something divided by five is six. So that number's gotta be? 30. It's gotta be 30. So the height of this tree must be 30. I told you you could just stack them up like six times. Yeah. That's because we chose 48, which is conveniently six times bigger. But if we chose 50, then it wouldn't be conveniently six times bigger. It would be some decimal, right? Uh -huh. No, I just picked 48 because it fit well. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. It's exactly the thing that I just said. 48 is a convenient multiple of 8. But if it wasn't, if this was 50 instead of 48, then it wouldn't work out as nicely. Right? It would be a decimal and it would not work. Okay. Good. Uh, so over the weekend.